breaths in. And instead of breathing in and out through the nose, I just want you to breathe in through the nose and out through your mouth, okay? Just a couple cleansing, clearing breaths. Breathe in through the nose. You guys take the head to the right and the left, nice and gentle, right and left. Right, okay, to yawn in the morning. <laughs> okay, remember the whole purpose of these classes is just to simply wake your body up, get your mind focused, take the head to one side and just hold it there. Inspire us to find those moments of stillness throughout our day. Because as things come at us, thoughts, distractions, people needing us, it's really easy to get carried away. And the mind starts to kind of turn into, some people call it monkey chatter. I think of it like a pinball game, you know, this whole pinball game. Bing, 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 bing. <laughs> All right, and lift up. Look to the right and hold. Now try to relax your face. Kind of move the muscles around the face. Maybe open and close the jaw a couple times. The other side, and then open the mouth just gently. Swirl the tongue around a little bit. And let's look forward again, and down, and up. Twice more, down, and up. Down, and up. All right, so here's the weird part. It's not weird. This pose is called, but it's different. <laughs> this pose, oh my gosh, I just forgot the name of it. It's a horse pose. I haven't done it in so long. You're gonna take your right leg out in front and your left leg just behind you to the side. You can go as far back as you want, or you can take the knee to the foot. This might be a little bit harder. I just want you to be Kind of comfortably uncomfortable here. And so you're gonna maybe feel this hip twinging a little bit or the inner thigh opening up. You can lean back a little bit to take pressure off of that. Just so play around with it, find where you need to be. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna rotate over the right leg. So yes, this left hip comes off of the mat. Rotate over the right leg. Try to look behind the right shoulder. I said right leg in front, right? Whatever leg's in front, because it's my left leg. I'm trying to do opposite of y'all. And we're gonna stay here for just a minute. Remember that soft gaze, okay? Let's take the breaths back in and out through the nose. If you find the left hip popping up and squeezing and trying to hold you, relax it. That's not what we're trying to do here. So yes, your rotation may be limited. Take your awareness to anything that's tight on the body. So for me, I can really feel it in this left hip joint right here. It's not a bad thing. I can feel it just opening up. And as you take your awareness there, exhale, try to let it go a little bit more. Excellent. And then unravel back around. And we're gonna just come forward and hold right here. Then we're gonna create some dynamic movement with this. So you're over the front leg. Maybe you're gonna start feeling it a little bit more in the glute of the front leg. And we'll stay here for a minute as well.
deep breaths. If you forget how the Ujjayi breath goes, you can always watch the video from the beginning. Or the other option is to just quickly learn it right now. As you inhale, here it's a slight constriction of the deeper part of the throat. And also as you exhale, it's like a Darth Vader breath, but it's not up here, it's down here. One or two more breaths. Inhale to rise. Very nice. And we're going to do one more position here. We're going to get out of it and come back to it a little bit later. And it's called deer pose. I remembered it while I was getting out there. So take the hand down of the front leg and big side bend over one side. Oh yes. If this feels comfortable enough, you can go to the elbow. One minute here. Gaze can be forward, down, wherever is comfortable for you. Remember if the neck hangs, that's okay. We've warmed it up a little bit. If your top arm becomes heavy, place it behind your back. Three more breaths. All right. Inhale to come up and remove the back leg by taking taking the weight of the front leg and whipping that back leg around. Legs are coming forward, moving into caterpillar. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, hinge from the hips. Doesn't matter how low you go. I'm going to turn this way, guys. But watch the back. It can round out gently here. I'm keeping time here. Let's stay here for about a minute. Inhale to rise. Oh, yes. Shake it out a little bit and let's do the other side. All right. So your left leg is in front this time. Right leg is behind. We're going to start just getting comfortable here. And again, the right leg can go as far back as you want. It might get a little bit more intense. Just to be your own judge, all right? And then the first thing is first, rotating over the left leg. Remember though, we're not pressing this hip forward. We're just letting it happen naturally. I find myself naturally wanting to press it forward. We'll do it in a second. <laughs> We 
deep breaths. Couple more breaths. And gently come out of it. Now we've got our forward fold. And I didn't tell you this on the other side, and I should have. If it feels better to sit on a pillow here, try that out, all right? If this doesn't feel good. And then we're gonna bend over the front leg and notice, if you go kind of in the diagonal, you're gonna feel it a little bit differently than forward. Try to keep the foot slightly flexed, but go wherever your body's telling you to go. Try to find that place where you can just relax, but relax a little bit, even when you're uncomfortable. And a couple more breaths here. Inhale to rise, we'll move to our side bend, our side stretch, left arm down, we're stretching to the side over the front leg. And the right arm comes up again, arm gets heavy, take it behind you. I know mine just doesn't feel good over my head, so I naturally take it behind my back. It's not my first rodeo. <laughs> All right, scan your body, see how your hips are doing, how the neck is doing. Maybe you feel a nice little pull through the side body. That's good. That's okay. If you don't, that's okay too. Three more breaths. And inhale to come up. Oh yes, got sticky there. Moving back into caterpillar. Oh. But this time for Caterpillar, take the right leg over the left leg, lean forward just a moment, and we're gonna count breaths here. That helps us refocus on the breath sometimes I find. So you count your five, they may be a different, different length than mine, that's quite all right. And after the fifth one, it's just a very slow transition to the other side, left over right. And five breaths again. All 
Inhale to rise. All right, you guys. So we're going to go back into the horse pose. I said horse pose, the deer pose-ish. So right leg is in front again. And check this out. If you want to place a blanket underneath the knees, go ahead and do so. But what we're going to do is place the foot on the thigh of the front leg. The hand is going to go behind your back. And as you inhale, you're going to sweep the arm up, lift the hips up. Oh my gosh, I can't tell you how good this feels. And we'll hold here for three breaths. Three, two, one. And exhale, come down, swoop around, inhale, swoop around, and then just side bend to the other side. There you go. And again, so ground, inhale, lift up, and exhale to the other side, all in one breath, and inhale, big movement here, guys, I'm going to move my foot around, and exhale, it's a big movement, but you're still working within your range of motion, now notice, I'm not making this huge, huge, big twist, over that back leg. It just doesn't feel good. But if you want to stay high, open up here. Let's do one more, okay? So we've done about five or six total. We're going to have to take the hips off the mat. And we are done. Inhale, switch sides, left leg in front. And same thing. Start with the left hand on the ground. Inhale. Lift up, hips press forward. Remember, I told you don't press the hips forward earlier. <laughs> now tell me, press them forward. Oh, yeah. Three, two, one. Exhale, swoop around. And inhale, lift up. Hips lift or they don't. Do it a few more times with the exhale and inhale. Oh yes, how are we on time? Oh my gosh, brilliant. So one thing I do want to do real quick before we leave, we have hit our 20 minutes. We've gone a little bit, that's okay. Take the legs out a little bit wider this time. Wide as you can go and still grab the outsides of the feet, all right? So if you go so wide, you can't grab the outsides of the feet. That's not what we're trying to accomplish. And if you can't grab the outsides of the feet, try grabbing the ankles. Scooch the hips back. So what we're trying to accomplish here is a little stretch underneath the legs and also the glutes in back. And just five breaths here, you guys. You wanna round out and just play around with the spine you can. Just move organically. All right, coming back to seated before you leave your practice today. So if you're gonna continue after this, you're more than welcome to, but before you leave your practice today, give yourself some gratitude for doing your practice, all right? Sometimes just walking through the door, sitting down, so wherever you need to do, and finding that quiet space is the hardest part. So congratulations, and I want you to make this the best day ever. Bye, you guys. Don't forget to find all the recordings and stuff on our private site. Bye, Zasowski.